Hello everyone. So I am posting this video because I recently passed my ANCC boards and um, the wonderful level of evidence is definitely on that exam. I have several um, questions and I know some people have had up to eight to ten questions. So that's a lot. So do not skip this part. I'm going to break it up so it makes it easier. So levels of evidence. We've all seen that little triangle, you know, you're far into your studies um, and are ready to take your boards. You know, like what the hell does that mean? Well, you know, you'll see there's multiple different triangles. Which one do you go by? Which one are you supposed to memorize? How much do you have to know? I'm going to tell you. It's not as complicated as you think, I promise you, okay? So I created my own triangle, which is actually not a triangle at all. But before I get to sharing that file with you, let me tell you that the exam is not trying to trick you, okay? It's going to give you three examples, and you're going to drag and drop, okay, from the highest level of evidence to the weakest level of evidence. It's not going to give you five or six like some of the practice exams you practice. It's going to give you three. And it's not going to trick you in those three either, okay? So I'm going to share this file here. This is my uh, this is my wonderful triangle. That's not a triangle at all. And all of you, uh, hopefully most of you, have heard Miss Rec CEO. So prior to starting my exam, I wrote everything out that out that I thought I'm going to forget because I don't want my anxiety to take over. So Miss Rec CEO. What does that mean, okay? And why is mine, why does everything look the way it is on my sheet? So, Miss RAC CEO, Meta Systematic RCT Experimental Cohort Case Cross and Case Editorial and Opinion. The reason why I have it color coded is the exam is not going to trick you. It is not going to give you an example of a meta and a systematic and tell you to which one's stronger. It is not giving you, it's not gonna give you an RCT and experimental and ask you which one's stronger. It's not going to give you a cohort across in a case and ask you which one is stronger. They're going to be divided in these section. So when you get an example, it's gonna be either MS, it's either going to be RE, it's either gonna be all the C's, or it's either gonna be EO, yes. It's that simple. So you are going to just have to remember the key things that I'm gonna talk about here on the right side to figure out what level of evidence it is, okay? Okay, I either way, I still split it on a little bit more individually and then all together. Okay, so let's get started. Miss Rexio, MS, Meta and Systematic. They're both basically the same thing. It is summaries, summarizing findings. It's putting, combining articles and research together. Uh, it's analysis. It's summary. It, there's multiple studies included, okay? The difference is that meta is more of a number thing. It's statistical analysis, okay? There's the formula, the statistical formula. Um, the results are written in numbers and uh, and that's all it is, where the systematic is more of a summarization lit literature review. So again, both of these are combining articles, multiple studies. The keywords that you might see are database. Uh, and if you don't see database, you might see the actual names of databases, which we've all obviously used in school or, or practice. It's like PubMed and Medline. Okay, so those are hint hint. Those are what you're going to see. Now let's go to the next section, which is the R and the E. The R and the, the R stands for RCTs, randomized control trials, and the E stands for experimental. So again, these are grouped together, the green. They're both um, very similar. They have random assigned subjects, and one's double-blinded, the other one is not. So these are experimental studies. That means if you see anything on the exam, that states that there's an experiment being performed. So um, there's a random selection, there's random assignment of, of subjects, there are studies and interventions, there are trials being performed, there's a placebo group and there's control group or treatment group, intervention group, whatever, there's groups. They are studying something, they're experimenting. You know that's the RE, which is different from just up here, that is just pulling multiple studies together, combining things, okay? 
experiment, okay? Green section. Now, the blue section. There's four C's and letters. That's the CC of my Miss Rack CEO. And even though there are uh, differences individually, all these, all the blue guys are observational studies. That means no experiments are being done. We're just looking. We're just sitting back and we're just observing at all the C's, okay? But either way, let's break it up further into the individual lines. So cohort, what's a cohort? When you think of a cohort, you think of a bunch of people, right? So it's a group. And it could be long, such as, um, there could be three different kinds. So long, which follows the same group of people over a long period of time. They're very similar with the characteristics. It can be perspective. It looks forward. Or it could be retro. You know, retro going backwards. Now we have a case control, which is also retro retrospective. Hmm. It's some kind of similar. So again, it's looking back. We're trying to find out why did something happen? Why did an outbreak of flu happen two years ago? And we, you know, now we're watching it. And what was the outcome? So again, we're looking, we're observing. Then a cross-sectional. Uh, sometimes this pops up on some of the triangles. Sometimes it doesn't. But it's still part of the C's. And again, it uh, analyzes, compares differences and similarities of uh, at one point. So it collects data at one point. So we're observing too. And then the case series is... Um, Again, retrospective, looking back just at one, one person, one subject, one whatever. So again, big blue section, we're just watching. We're not doing any experiments. We are solely observing what has happened or what is going to happen, okay? For the green section, we are doing experiment. And the one, the yellow section, the MS, the strongest one out of all of them, we are combining things. The things are, are combined from articles, published articles, unpublished articles, and they're strong, okay, with databases. Finally, lastly, finally, lastly, like my English, um, editorial and opinion. So editorial, essay, journal editorials, like an ANA magazine, an opinion. An MD writes an, uh, uh, writes an essay about something, and uh, his opinion, who cares? Uh, or uh, an essay on a concern someone might be writing about personal experience. But the keywords here are opinion of an expert, seeking an opinion, editorial, okay? So just remember the four differences and then you're going to be able to figure out the questions on the boards. Now, how are we gonna break this up when we have a, when we have a question? Okay, so we got the question and you're like, oh shoot, I got those stupid hierarchy question, it's, I'm so overwhelmed, it's so long, don't be. First start, when you read it, first look for the strongest one. So look for the uh, keywords, the database, the meta-analysis, the system in review. Ask yourself, what is this really saying? Don't be overwhelmed with all of them, just focus on one. What is this really saying? Is there research pulled from multiple studies? Is there, um, databases that they've used to do a lit review or statistical analysis or whatever okay so look for those things once you get that okay number one strongest you got it then you look for the crappiest one look at the least, the weakest one okay so the bottom of the food chain so you look at for expert opinions editorial blah 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 you drop that at the last one right and then you have one left over and that one just goes in the middle Voila, you have your question answer. So now let's uh, practice the question. So this one is straight from the ANCC website, right? Um, so I'm not gonna read every single word in here. I'm gonna pull out the keywords so you see what I'm talking about. Okay, A, retrospect, uh, investigators conducted a retrospective review. Hint, hint, there looks like there's a retrospective review there. What does that mean? uh review so already if we go back to that other sheet in that blue section there was retrospective 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 under your keywords to remember right uh who were diagnosed with oa and had medications uh this medication on their list they assessed the pain they um 
they compared the score of the pain rating scales uh, three months after the medication has started. They also reviewed progress notes. Uh, so basically, retrospective is a keyword. So we know it's under CC. So we know it's observing. When it's retrospective, it's observing, right? There's no experience being done here, none. We're just looking, right? There's no mention of databases, nothing super strong. So this will be an observational study, right? Like my little blue section, right? Which is observational study was under my CC. Okay, now let's read um, the next one. So investigator randomly assigned. Hmm, is that a keyword on that other sheet I gave you guys, uh, posted earlier? Randomly assigned. Something's randomly assigned. Some something is probably going to be investigated, or or we want to find something out. That's why we assigned a group of people, right? A group of people of sixteen hundred patients. And look, there was a placebo group. Um, so we have a control placebo group for six months, and and then we have a, even a result of the study that was performed. Uh, so what does that tell you? Just by these couple, just from reading the beginning, we know that there's an experiment being done, right? Okay, so we know there's an experiment being done. And on our Miss Rexy Yo, that goes under the RE, right? Now let's read the last one. Researchers evaluated the benefits of, of medication, osteoporosis, and they look, they use, they search Medline, and they search another database for studies, studies multiple, to investigate some question. Um, yes, they use studies that are double blind, the placebo control and randomized, which are strong. So don't let that throw you off. I'll get back to this. Um, and then look, 15 studies were included in the analysis and in the statistical formula. Um, so look at all these keywords. A searching Medline, database, 15 studies included, statistical formula, analysis. So all those keywords were on that sheet I showed you guys earlier. Yes, it says double-blinded placebo control randomized trial, so you kind of want to jump in into the experiment group right away. But don't, don't, don't do that. Make sure you read all of the other ones, right? So this would be what? Our strongest one, right? So it's the two the top, the MS the, of the Miss Rex CEO. So now let's put these in order. So we know the strongest one, we know by Miss Rex CEO, right? Um, strongest one will be C, right? So this one is number one, strongest one. And then what is our weakest? Remember the thing, how to answer these questions? Was an observational or is an experiment weaker? I think if we're just watching something, it's gonna be weaker, right? So observational, so A, which is retrospective, we're gonna drop that in the weakest section, right? And then what's left over? Experiment is left over, the RE. Does that make sense? So, keywords. Don't forget those keywords. C, B, and A, right? Got it? All right, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this helped. I know it's a little dry. Um, however, you have to get this. You have to understand it to good, do good on your boards. And I know you will, you're gonna get it. So good luck everybody and um, have a good day.